EC4 is a compact but high performance vacuum pump specifically set up for composites applications such as vacuum bagging, resin infusion, prepreg, degassing and bag pressing. Watch this video to learn more about the pump's performance and features, suitability for different applications and simple operating instructions. With such a wide range of vacuum pumps available on the market at different prices, it can be difficult to decide which vacuum pump is right for you. Whilst the EC4 isn't the cheapest vacuum pump you can buy, we believe that it is the best value and that this pump rewards a little extra investment with its excellent performance, some important features especially for composites use and its extremely reliable service. At the heart of the EC4 is a high quality, high performance vacuum pump designed and built in Italy by respected pump manufacturer DVP. The pump is then fitted with this sturdy case which provides protection and also makes it nicely portable. The EC4 vacuum pump has been spec'd out and built for composites use. It's perfect for vacuum bagging applications from small components through to projects around about the size of a small boat hull. If you're wondering whether you need a larger vacuum pump for your project, the answer is probably no. And the reason for this is because, providing your vacuum bag doesn't leak, a vacuum pump like this will create the same pressure on the inside of a bag the size of a football pitch as one the size of a notepad. The only difference will be the time it will take to empty the bag in the first place. With much larger vacuum bagging projects, such as the size of a full-scale boat hull, it starts to become really quite impractical to ensure that you've got a perfectly sealed bag, and so inevitably on projects of that size, the vacuum pump is always pulling against a leak, and at that scale, that would be advantageous perhaps to have a larger vacuum pump, such as our EC20, which can easily overcome those leaks. But that's really the only situation where a larger vacuum pump would be required uh, than the EC4 for most vacuum bagging applications. As well as vacuum bagging, the EC4 vacuum pump can also be used in conjunction with a degassing chamber, such as this, for degassing materials such as resins and silicons. When you're thinking about the suitability of a pump like this for use in a degassing application, the important thing to think about is the reactivity of the materials that you're degassing. Thanks to its optimized vacuum curve, the EC4 actually manages to pull down a 26 litre degassing chamber like this to 99% vacuum in around about three and a half minutes, which is actually faster than uh, many alternative pumps with the same or even higher stated capacities. So if you're working with relatively low reactivity materials such as RTV silicons or epoxy casting resins, then that pull down time may be perfectly adequate. If you are working with high reactivity materials such as fast cast polyurethanes then either a smaller degassing chamber with this pump or a larger pump with a chamber of this size would be required. Looking at the features now of this vacuum pump the first thing to mention is its build quality. Build quality might not normally be considered a feature but in the case of this vacuum pump then really it is. The workings of the pump are made in Italy by leading Italian pump manufacturer DVP before the sturdy housing and the remaining fit out are undertaken by Easy Composites in the UK. All the components used throughout are industrial grade and designed to provide years of safe and reliable performance. Not really evident when looking at the pump, but the EC4 has a built-in non-return valve or check valve, which prevents air from being pulled back through the vacuum pump when it's turned off. This check valve prevents accidental damage to the pump and makes for quick and easy one switch operation. A great feature of the EC4 pump is this built-in oil mist separator, which works to filter and recover oil mist emitted by the pump during operation. As a result, providing that the vacuum pump is pulling against a properly sealed bag or chamber, no oil vapor or mist should be emitted into the room, making the pump ideal for more sensitive environments such as schools, labs and more confined workshops. Do read the user manual though for more information on the oil mist separation. Unlike many general purpose vacuum pumps, the EC4 is designed for continuous operation and as such can be run all day long without any risk to the pump or to the vacuum process. And as you'll see, the pump in operation is quiet and unobtrusive. It is important to note for continuous duty, however, that the pump must be running against a sealed bag or sealed equipment. Again, see the user manual for more information on this. 
Lastly, the EC4 has a handy inline IEC socket and plug to prevent accidental damage to the pump should the power cable get pulled tight or tripped over when it's out in the workshop. You can also swap the supplied IEC cable for a longer one if you do need a longer power lead. The vacuum pump runs on a 240 volt main supply. So if the main supply in your country is not 220 to 240 volts, then this pump would not be suitable. For those countries that do have a 240 volt supply, then the pump is available with a choice of power leads. The pump comes with this female IEC socket hardwired onto it, and then a choice of different power leads to connect it to your main supply. Make sure you choose the right power lead for your region at the time of ordering. Here we have the UK power lead, which simply plugs into the female socket on the vacuum pump. Using the EC4 could not be simpler. If you've purchased one of these vacuum pumps, then we would always suggest that you read the instruction manual before use. But essentially, the setup and operation is as follows. The EC4 is shipped without any oil in it. The correct oil is supplied with the pump and the pump must be filled with oil before it is switched on. Using an Allen key, remove this filler stopper and then fill the pump with oil until the oil level is between the minimum and maximum lines on this sight glass before replacing the stopper. Using the power lead supplied with the vacuum pump, connect one end of the lead to your mains power supply and the other end into the IEC socket on the vacuum pump. Once connected, the pump is simply switched on and off using the power switch on the top of the pump. For the vacuum connection, the EC4 is fitted with an 8mm ID hosetail barb fitting. So for most applications, vacuum bagging or connecting it to vacuum equipment, that would simply be a case of pushing an 8mm ID silicon hose onto this. But if you wanted to remove this fitting and swap it for something else, such as a quick release coupling, then it's simply a case of undoing this it has a quarter BSP thread on and then attaching your new fitting. As well as being a highly reliable pump, the EC4 is also supported with a full range of spares which can be purchased through Easy Composites. So I hope this video has given you a good introduction to the quality, the performance and the basic operation of the EC4 vacuum pump. But if you do have any questions that have not been answered in this video, then please get in touch with our technical sales team where they will be happy to answer any questions you may have.